When I grow up, I want to be a rock star. This is the band. There's John on the drums having a zen moment. There's Brian doing a song called Shot Pusher. He usually gets a free drink out of the deal. And there's me in the front playing guitar, my rock star shirt. Every week, we play gigs, put our energy in, write songs, put it all out on the line. Crazy places, crazy bars. This place is haunted. There's a coffee shop. This is one of the best little English pubs in Minnesota. It all changes. Why do we do it? Two reasons. Obsession and the dream. Obsession and the drive just to make great music. We can't control it, which is what we do. And the dream? You no, know, maybe people will listen. Maybe we'll get an audience. So that brings us to this project. Along that dream, effects pedals. What helps make our sounds unique? Guitar effects are like little bits of candy for guitarists. There's fuzz pedals, delay pedals, ring modulators, wah-wahs, all kinds of great effects that do all kinds of things. And the way you can arrange them differently makes you have a unique sound. It's just all your own. So within that problem of all these pedals and everybody has different ones is holding them together. The term pedal board. I was woefully disappointed by the boards in the market. They used carpeting and Velcro tape on your pedals to hold the pedals down, and they were extremely expensive. So I started prototyping. I built all of these boards, tested them with the band, toured around with them, what's working, what's not, drilled more holes, moved the way the boards connect together, tried to make it simpler, easy to construct, easy to shift, easy to carry. So this is one of the final boards testing it out at a gig in a local bar here in the Twin Cities. So at the end of it, we ended up with now the Holy Board Deluxe. Its main feature, lots of holes. The holes allow for zip ties to go in instead of Velcro, although you could use Velcro if you wanted. It holds the pedals more securely. Also there's a second shelf. The higher level allows you to put pedals up on top so you don't have to do a tap dance with your toe to reach the pedals in the background makes it pretty nice to gig with. There's a spot in the back under the shelf to put your power supply. If you don't have a pedal power supply, you can just zip tie a power strip to it. It all fits. You can see how the zip tie goes through, holds it securely under the board. Here's me placing a wah. When you're laying out the board, you put the components where you want. The spot for volume pedals and wahs on the side. Slide in the zip tie, pull it tight, and you're good to go. You can see a shot on the bottom right here. So you can lay out your board, move your pedals around, rearrange them, which guitar players do all the time. Everything's convenient, held securely, it's put right where you want it, easy to reach with your feet, and it's durable, so you can just grab it at the end of the gig. There's plenty of space for wires and cables to move in and out, plenty of space in the back to put extra accessories. And there's two handles, there's a handle on the top and a handle on the side, because when you get to a gig, the faster you set up, the longer you play. And usually when you're done, there's some other band that's trying to get on and you want to get off the stage so you can just grab it and go, rather than having to grab some gigantic metal contraption. Also, if there's beer or vomit, there's some rubber feet that hold it an inch off the ground.